Welcome back guys. This is chapter number five and here we are at section 5.1. Okay, what do we have to do here? This is question number two and uh, we have to write the output expression for each of the circuits given in figure 5.54. Okay, so this is figure 5.54 and here we have two parts part A and part B. So let us start part A here. Okay, so in part A we have three inputs A, B, C. Okay, so A, B, C are given to different uh, gates here and we have to find out the output of each gate and at the end we have to find the value for the output x okay so okay so what are these so let me first use different colors for each of the gate here so uh, for this gate I am going to use this uh, yellow color for the second gate here this and gate I am going to use this color and uh, for the other gate I am going to use this color okay so these are different gates and uh, after it I will get the output and for that output I am going to use what I am going to use let me use this white color for it okay so here I will use this white color so uh, let us first start it so here uh, the output of uh, the input a b c the first input a is given to this not get first and the output I am getting from it is this a complement okay because it is now inverting the input which is given to it so now the output of it is this one okay this is the yellow color similarly the B is given to uh, this uh, and gate okay this is the and gate here this B is given with this a complement and what are we getting uh, out of it so we can see that what is the color which we are using for it this is uh, this light green okay so let me use it for this light green so here this is the output and here what are we getting here we are getting this a complement with this uh, B so using this a complement and this b which is given to it so this is now b here okay and this is the output of this gate similarly we can see here that this a and this c are given to uh, this gate we can see the here that this is a this is c and the output of this gate is with uh, represented with this blue color so the output of it is what this is the and gate so therefore this is a dot c okay so the output of it is a dot c and the both of these uh, inputs are given to what these are given to let me see it this is the output of this AND gate similarly the output of this AND gate these twos and similarly the output of this NOT gate which is represented by this yellow color okay these are given to this what this OR gate okay so the output of it will be X so let me write this X so X is equal to what the first uh, input which is given to it is this A complement so let it write it with this a complement and then it is what this is or okay and as this is the output of this so let me write it a dot b okay and similarly it is ended with this this is the second input and the third input with this is this one a dot c okay so what is this this is the output x and that is the required output which we wanted so all of this is now white colored because this is now the output of it okay so that is the answer of my question which is here okay so that is the answer of part a Similarly, in order to solve part B here, what do we have to do? Again, we are given some inputs. So now the inputs we have are 4, A, B, C and D. Okay. And here again, we have different gates here. And uh, as we have many inputs here, so instead of following the procedure or colors which we have previously used, let's us use some other procedure here and that is to use this yellow color for these gates okay these are the not gates and for uh, these gates I am going to use what 
I am going to use this color and this is again the NOT gate and this is the OR gate and for the OR gate I am going to use here this uh, red color. Okay. So, these are different gates. So, initially this A is given to this inverter and here we will get this A complement here. Okay, this is the A complement and also this A complement is also given to this gate as well that is the A complement. Similarly, this D is also given here and it is now applied and this is now what? This is the D complement and D complement is given to it. Okay, so at the output of this gate, this gate and this gate what are the signals which we have. So, here we can see that two inputs are applied here first is the A complement the second one is B and at this output what are we getting here is that this is the AND gate. So, A complement dot B is the output here. Similarly, uh, to this uh, gate this is the second gate and here what are we getting or what have we applied here. We can see that here we have uh, three inputs. The first input is this A complement okay this one the second is C while the third one is this D. So, therefore, the output of it is what the output of this gate is A complement dot C dot D okay. So, these are the three inputs which are applied here and similarly to this uh, third gate we have this input and uh, what is this? This is D okay. Similarly, here we have this B and here D complement as well. So, the outputs here are what? These are here we have this B okay which is applied here. Similarly, we have this D here as well okay we have this D here and D complement here as well. Okay. So, these are the three inputs which are applied. So, these three inputs are now given to this gate which is basically the OR gate. So, after ORing it what would we get? So, let me write it here. So, I will get here A complement dot B plus because three inputs are added now. So, here I will get A complement dot C dot D plus this B dot D dot D complement. Okay. So, this is what this is the output here and in order to find the X what would we have all of them will be complemented. Okay. So, X will be what X will be the complement of A complement dot B plus a complement C D plus B D D complement okay and that would be the whole complemented one okay. Here we can very easily see that this term is now 0. Why is it 0? Because D dot D complement this is always equal to 0 okay. So, uh, removing it from here what I will get? I will get here A complement dot B plus A complement C D. So, this is basically the output of this gate. Uh, we can also simplify it by using the De Morgan's law. Okay, but I am leaving this as it is here. So, uh, that is it for today.